Suzanne Summers and Matthew Perry honored in 2023 Emmy Awards in memoriam tribute. Among the joyous acceptance speeches and flashback moments to famous TV shows from decades ago, the 75th Annual Primetime Emmy Awards took a minute to recognize many of the television community's friends, colleagues, and stars who died in the previous year. Suzanne Summers and Matthew Perry were among the stars recognized in the awards show's annual In Memoriam tribute, which honors industry giants. Charlie Puth sang his 2015 hit, See You Again, while a slideshow of photographs of those who died was shown to crowds at the Peacock Theater in Los Angeles and those watching on television. Perry, whose death in October sent shockwaves around Hollywood and the world, concluded the homage. Summers, who was best remembered for her appearances as Chrissy Snow on Three's Company and Carol Lambert on Step by Step, died on October 15, just one day shy of turning 77. Summers built a reputation as an entertainer, author, and entrepreneur throughout the course of her decades-long career. In addition to her television roles, the actress was well known for her books, she wrote over 25 and was a New York Times best-selling author, and her health and beauty businesses, including the Thighmaster Exercise Gadget. Stacey Keenan, who portrayed Dana Foster, the eldest kid on Step by Step, recalled Summers to people after her death as a bright, buoyant spirit, very kind, funny, and generous of heart. When anyone asked what it was like to work with her, I found myself saying often that to know her was to love her, she said. In addition to her many creative talents, Suzanne was a superb businesswoman. As her TV daughter, she was really kind and nurturing to me. I thought she was just perfect. I will miss her, but I was fortunate to have known her. Perry was a five-time Emmy nominee who gained critical acclaim and global fame for his role as Chandler Bing on the NBC sitcom Friends. The actor died on October 28 at the age of 54 from the acute effects of ketamine. Despite his success, Perry battled addiction behind the scenes, seeking help 15 times throughout the years. He later established the Perry House, a men's sober living center, in his former Malibu Beach home.